over my entire career, uh, what I've been known for is making simple the complex, whatever the issue is. And if you gave it to Indra, it will get addressed. I grew up in Madras, which was water starved all my life living there. Uh, you know, we had water two or three hours every morning and usually from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. And you found every pot and pan you could in the house and you filled water. When my sister and I were kids and we were just a year apart. Every night at dinner table, my mother would uh, ask us to write a speech about what we would do if we were president or chief minister or prime minister. Every, year, every day it would be a different world leader she'd ask us to play. At the end of dinner, we had to give the speech, and then she would decide who she was going to vote for. My paternal grandfather was a judge and a very, very strong personality. He had this way of telling us that if you're given a job, do it well or don't do it at all. My batch was around 100 students, and I was only one amongst five or six women in my class. It's the lack of luxury which might have influenced a lot of my thinking. I don't care about the hours, I don't care about the hardship, because to me everything is a joy. I don't think women can have it all. I just don't think so. We have two daughters and every day you have to make a decision on whether you are going to be a wife or a mother. Whatever happens, have a hip pocket skill. People should look at you and say, you know, on this particular issue, the only person who can answer it or can contribute to it is Dan. Because if they know that you have a competence that nobody else has, you become more valuable. Please remain a lifelong student. Don't lose that curiosity. said, I had great news for you. I've just been told that I'm going to be president on the board of directors. And all that you want me to do is to go out and get the milk. What kind of a mom are you? And she said to me, let me explain something to you. You might be president of PepsiCo, you might be on the board of directors, but when you enter this house, you're the wife, you're the daughter, you're the daughter-in-law, you're the mother, you're all of that. Nobody else can take that place. So leave that damn crown in the garage. Help others rise. Greatness comes not from a position, but from helping build the future. Whatever you do, throw yourself into it. Throw your head, heart, and hands into it. I look at my job not as a job. I look at it as a calling, as a passion.